Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, then check your other placements. Your messages could be there. What we have at the heart of this reading uh, are the, the flowers, so the bouquet here, and that is followed by the book. So order, of course, with the cards is very important, um, and the symbols. Um, so the bouquet is about receiving something that makes you very happy. It has a very happy energy around it. Um, this could be a, uh, an offer, an apology, some type of uh, invitation. Uh, it can also be the unexpected. Um, it can be something fresh, something new. Um, it could be uh, about turning a negative situation around, making something better with the flowers. Um, and that's what you don't know because it's followed by the book. So uh, the, the book can speak to the unknown. And we also have that up here, navigating your way through some unknown territory. The sun is in the reverse, so things are unclear. Um, you're unclear if you can make these adjustments to be able to restore something to, to uh, its uh, uh, original state or its balance or restore the balance. The fact that the book is here um, <clears throat> can indicate that uh, this information will soon be revealed to you. So, and whatever the book holds, uh, is this information is greatly desired. And of course, we see that because the bouquet precedes it. So the information desired has to do with that bouquet. Now, at the heart of the reading and the first card out, you have the fool in the reverse. And uh, so here he is here. Here in the upright, uh, we see that he's being pulled in two directions. Here, in the reverse, I kind of feel like um, he may have made a choice, may have thought something was too risky. Um, I feel like he didn't follow his heart. Um, he was instead, I feel like the heart was uh, really wanting to go in a specific direction uh, that the mind uh, kept saying, was uh, too risky. The mind was fearful. The mind was creating all of these illusions, that sled of hand, you know. And we see that here with this Seven of Swords. Now, this is, is quite different because in the upright, like then the, uh, different than the regular tarot, because in the upright, it talks about an unexpected development um, that is a lucky break. It's like positive, the Seven of Swords. But when it's reverse, there could have been, when it came to that uh, development that was greatly desired, um, there could have been a setback, a sudden change of mind or of plan. So this relationship may have been greatly desired, but the, it, there was an obstacle. The obstacle, uh, I feel, was in the mind and um, that these thoughts, memories, old wounds, old ghosts created these illusions that caused this disruption and the loss of uh, of an opportunity, most likely, a missed opportunity. Yeah, there, so there was, because of what was 
going around in the mind there was uh, an emotional breakup. Uh, it didn't work, whatever you were planning. Now the Ten of Swords is also here in the reverse. Um, it didn't work uh, and I feel it's because of all of the swords you know I mean because it's yes it's in the reverse here but uh, all my reversals I have to look at the upright because I know that the upright came first so what came first before the reverse was this terrible ending very painful ending and it's there were others you know these all these old memories are lined up on the walk, uh, the, you know, like they're carrying them off the battlefield. Uh, another sword, it's like another notch, you know. That's what it feels like. And the thing is, it's caused by all of those swords. And, and death is saying, you know, uh, change needs to happen here. And where does it need to happen? here with the swords it's sitting right next to the swords so uh all past all all present and past ghost and old wounds they need to be dealt with they need to go um this is what's caused this it's like a an energy uh an energy of fear uh, of guardedness, of, uh, of pain, of uh, n mistrust, so trust issues because of those swords. It's everything those swords represent to you. It's all the, the, the memories of the ghosts of the past, of, the, of, of disappointments that didn't work. That's where the change needs to happen. Because the child is here, the child uh, would be encouraging whoever this is to look at uh, this situation through new eyes. Not through those eyes, through new eyes. Yeah, see the Five of Swords was at the root of this. Um, but, I mean, what led up to it were, were all those Ten of Swords, you know. Many disappointments that, uh, you know, many situations or experiences that ended badly for this person, you know. Um, either you have or will soon... Uh, receive a message uh, from this person, this other person. The person who didn't follow their heart receives a message. And um, after a period of silence, most likely, uh, somebody, especially with this card, if somebody if somebody uh, walked away and ghosted the other, they will now make themselves visible. Um, there can be a meeting, a reunion, uh, and it could be in a public place. There could be a discussion about teamwork and working together and changes. Uh, insecurities could also be put onto the table. I feel like everything gets put onto the table at this reunion. A discussion is sitting in the future if it has not yet occurred and I don't believe it has. Uh, it depends where you are in this energy when you view this video. Somebody, uh, there's messages coming. This card says that um, there was information that was missing in the past having to do 
with uh, following one's heart. But this information uh, is coming or uh, because something is in the process of changing uh, with the death here. And it has to do with teamwork. And teamwork is also being uh, talked about here at the heart of the reading. But in order to be able to work with someone, there needs to be a change in how uh, somebody is thinking. They need to look at it through new eyes. That's, that's what this is saying. If you want to anchor this relationship, if you want to secure it, uh, if you want to set down roots here with this person, then, um, then you need to, uh, to change how you're thinking uh, and view this, uh, uh, that allows you to view this through new eyes. Once you take care of the past and present ghosts that were at the root of, of what happened, you know, that, that's what led up to, that's what led up to the Five of Swords. And there you go, another disappointment was carried with them off the field. And it looks really bad, but this card begs the question, can it be brought back from the brink of death? And the sun that we see back here says, yes, it can. It's not yet visible because it's here in the reverse and uh, somebody needs to uh, navigate their way through some very unclear um, energy and uh, make the adjustments that are necessary with temper temperance here being in reverse, they need to make adjustments in order to return something to its balance, in order to, uh, to come out of that moon energy into the sun, okay? So to turn this around. Right now, uh, they're in the dark. They must listen to uh, the intuition. They must listen or follow the signs uh, that they are receiving. They're going to have to step away from these swords here uh, and quiet their mind uh, in order to take this journey inward. Okay, This is an inward journey that's going on here um, in order to see uh, or in order to make these adjustments that are necessary to bring back uh, or to restore uh, the warmth. To do that, they need to uh, work on this um, because this is somebody who may have that victim mentality, you know, and so they need to take back their power. Yeah, there you go, right there. Look what was beneath it. <laughs> Knight of Swords, right? Yeah, oh my God, and there you go. It's just confirming what I said, the Eight of Swords. So, when you get this call, you need to heed the calling. And, and I feel it is uh, about the signs, um, being able to quiet the mind, uh, heed the signs, uh, go through this, uh, go through this uh, inner journey, make these changes, um, and some of them could be uncomfortable to look at, but what it will do is free them and uh, allow them uh, to be able to uh, work with this person because they'll be able to see it differently. That's what they're telling them. There's a lot of issues here. There's a lot of issues here. And 
There's a lot of issues. Somebody needs to take action. They need to make a choice. Um, they need to release the swords and quiet the mind and uh, listen for the signs. That's what they didn't do back here. They didn't pay attention to the signs. They didn't follow their heart. And for that, there was consequences. You see, there was consequences. This person learns what they need to know. It's here. And then they return. Because this is a card of returning. And the Hierophant is present on this card. And uh, he, is, um, he is rewarding this person who has been gone for some time, who has been on a journey, who has... Uh, put their attention where it needed to go and learned what they needed to learn. And now they're ready to return. Now they know how to proceed. They were not listening to the calling in the past. And so uh, because of that, they went off the path. Um, they didn't trust, you know. They didn't trust. They had um, a lot of bad experiences, but this, this is all coming to an end. So until they do this, it's like it's in suspension. Judgment's in the reverse, but uh, it, it's not because it's not going to happen. What it means is that un, until now, there has been doubt. Uh, there's been confusion. There has been, um, this person has uh, ignored uh, the calling. But this changes. So they could have been ignoring uh, what was really at the root of all of the issues. And we already know what that is. It's this, right? That's what was at the root. All of the old, all of the past ghosts and old wounds lined up there very cer ceremoniously. So they, they must uh, get rid of those swords. So um, once they do this, they get, uh, they then know how to proceed. Okay, and this is information, this card says they've been carrying for a long time and holding on to for a long time. But now, with death creeping up behind them, it's time. It's time to look at them, uh, assess their value, and uh, release them. Okay? That allows for this very new beginning after that Five of Swords energy has occurred. Okay? So that is what you have coming. Um, and so... This bouquet uh, really is very positive uh, and already tells us right at the beginning uh, that positive energy is going to be shed on these negative cards. What it tells us, because this person doesn't know, they can't see it because of the book, but I know because of the bouquet that all is going to be well here. I know that, but they don't know it, or you don't know it, whoever this energy belongs to, yet. Because there's something that y you or they need to be learning here. Something, uh, something very important that needs to be learned um, before you see this. 
or before they see this. But it's coming. This is something that's going to uh, make you very, very happy. This is a very happy event news uh, offer, a uh, fresh new start that is as yet unseen. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.